Hello, I am reading from <clears throat> All My Rage. Um, this is a story. Um, this chapter is from a story my mother told me. October, then. From the kitchen window, the rain blurred the motel. The screaming fluorescent lights seemed quieter. The brassy room numbers became small orange fish mid-swim. The rain was clean and sweet. It brought the smell of parched earth rising and drinking and dancing. I smelled the hope, the possibility. Also, potato pakoras, stuffed with skinny green chilies and fresh from the fryer. Pakoras and green chutney were made for the rain. I popped one in my mouth just as the bell rang. The sound was a screech, but I was used to it. It reminded me of a monkey one of my uncles kept as a pet, displaying his displeasure to anyone who didn't feed him swiftly enough. I unlocked the office door, grunting as I yanked it open. A small figure waited in the downpour, an even smaller one strapped across her chest, her pale, thin hair clumped on her head like sad, dead birds. A silver heart nestled at the hollow of her throat, a tiny red stone at the center of it. I'm sorry, she whispered, to bother you late. She wiped her nose and eyes on her baby's blanket. I hope you don't have kids. Not yet, I said. I need your help. I got this sick baby and $11 to my name. I don't got credit cards or ID because my wallet got stolen. Please, ma'am. My husband died and I'm living with his mama. She threw me out and the shelter is closed and your child's grandmother threw you out? The woman nodded. And I thought of my own grandmother, Buddy Dadi, gnarled and smelling of garlic and pomegranate with a large, soft belly I would ram my head into. She raised a dozen grandchildren, all my many cousins. She changed nappies, calmed tantrums, even climbed trees. Grandmothers who threw their grandchildren out. What a strange country America was. I considered the woman. You chose to kick at that moment, Salahuddin. Amma, you seem to say, help her. Even then, you were trusting. I gave her the room we'd just renovated. We'd taken out the sagging bed and the ripped furniture and replaced them with a comfortable mattress and freshly upholstered orange chairs. Tufik fixed the broken TV. I found a yellowing National Geographic about Yosemite and framed the pictures from it to hang above the bed. The door was nearly painted. It was a room I was proud of. Here, our keys were old fashioned, brass with oval number tags, but I thought they were charming. Room one, to the right. The woman looked up at me and her eyes filled. I patted her shoulder and she flinched. Sorry, the woman looked down. I'm sorry. That night, beside my sleeping husband, I prayed. I prayed that the woman's baby felt better and that she slept well and that she wasn't up all night. <laughs>